Hello, this is David Melcher with Extreme Bait Tags. But today, not talking bait, talking taxidermy. Let me introduce you to Jerry Weatherington. Did I get it right? That's it. Jerry, That's nice it. to see you again. Yes, thank I'm, you. I'm down here or up here somewhere near uh, Columbia, Kentucky. Yes. Uh, picking up my uh, beaver and a couple smallmouth. But I wanted to use this as an opportunity to introduce you to Jerry. So Jerry, tell us a little bit about your business. Uh, let's see, I have been a taxidermist for 41 years now. I started not long after I got out of the military. And uh, I loved to hunt and fish and the outdoors and that led me to this. And at the time when I got in it, there was hardly, there, there might have been two taxidermists around and uh, I saw an opportunity. That's what I wanted to do. I went to school for it. And I've learned more through the Kentucky Taxidermy Association where I was involved. I did a, a competed uh, in taxidermy competitions several uh, big area, several states, and uh, competed in the Masters Division and did very well. And I just loved it, and I still love it right now. You know, I, I just I enjoy going to work. Uh, there's nothing like it to me. Well, you know, I, your work definitely is just absolutely, absolutely amazing. I mean, we've become acquainted just through my new endeavors into hunting and yeah. trapping and some of the stuff that I'm. <laughs> crazy yeah. enough to, to explore on yeah. um, but uh, tell us about this piece I mean you picked this as sort of a this, demo yeah this uh, I just had just finished this it's a it's a baby this is a baby coyote and a baby coon and I've had them in the freezer actually I picked them up off the road you know you get them in the springtime and uh, this is the only baby coyote I've ever seen you know most people you, you just don't see them but uh, Anyway, I just decided to do something with them, and yeah. I hated to see them laying there. And, sure. And uh, this is what I came up with, and I'm actually I'm I'll, I'll have me another one, something right here. All right. Uh, I'm wanting a baby red fox. There's two weeks out of the year where you see a lot of red foxes get run over on the road, and uh, I stopped to look at four different ones this past spring, and they were too far gone. Gotcha. But, uh, but anyway, it's uh, it's just something I came up with. All right. I, all right. Hey. Now, talk, talk, looking around the, stop, the shop, I mean, you've got, obviously, deer. Yes. All kinds of waterfowl, coyotes, fox, beaver, elk, uh, coons. Fish. Uh, hog, and have a boar's head in there. Yes. And, and uh, definitely fish. Yeah. Got, got a couple bears to do this time. Uh, all right. A lot of elk. Uh, these deer, uh, they're all in the drying process. Uh -huh. And then there's still about two more hours of work left on each deer head then they'll be complete but uh every, so, so what's uh, the what's the craziest thing you've done oh gosh i don't know uh i did do a guy's uh big toe once <laughs> <laughs> okay I did, well i mean he made a necklace out of it he was a vietnam vet and his toe oh, right. was you sure it was his Huh? Well, he took his sock <laughs> off. I asked him that. He took his sock okay. off, and, <laughs> and he was missing his right. Right, big toe. But anyway, he made a necklace. Yeah, I think on. that qualifies. I was thinking yeah. maybe that spoon bill was going to be something interesting. I, but, uh, oh, I've never done a spoon bill. Right. So you know, they're a reproduction. I've done reproduction catfish. Right. Stuff, right. Never a spoon bill. But uh, now, know. now you hunt. What's your? Oh, you're you're just a big waterfowl deer, both, or do you have a preference? Uh, about everything about everything. I mean, I've, I've been a lot of places hunting, hunted whitetail several states. Uh, I love to hunt waterfowl. We had a, a good season this year. Uh, I'm actually going crow hunting in two days. All right. and, uh, you know, season's over the end of the month, yep. so uh, got to get a big in. And uh, I A mean, lot of people big, don't know you can eat crow. Uh, yes, you can. Yes. I saw Night and Hail on, on TV. I, and, well, I ate my first one and just for the fact, I didn't know you could eat them until after I ate it. It was like, yeah. this is really good. And then I realized it really wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah, a lot of people eat them. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I thought it was doing something cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've eaten things I haven't. You know, cat, <laughs> right. And you, I know you, you ate this beaver, which yeah. I have had that. It's really good. Like a big roast. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you're going to be eating a fox. Yep, great uh, fox. But I'm really big on eating rattlesnake. Uh, you, I don't know if you I have. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But I'm really. Oh, delicious. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's really if you get past the mind part of it. it yes. It, it's delicious. Uh, my, my daughter grew up uh, eating all the wild game, 
absolutely loves it. But her favorite out of everything mm -hmm. that she's tried is rattlesnake. Sure. Yeah. And, uh, Very tame. But uh, but yeah, I love it. And uh, but I, yeah, I've been doing this uh, so long, and I don't know how many deer I've, I've mounted in forty years. I've got records of every one of them, so I've never, <laughs> never, never had counted to. them up. You know. So, um, if somebody wanted to reach out to you, I mean, so what, what's your market? I know you're in Columbia. I'm in Somerset, about 35, 40 miles away. But what, where, do you, where are people coming in from? Oh, I get them from, from Lexington, I, uh, several states. I got people, regular right. customers out of Indiana, Ohio. Uh, I just got a, a snake in last week, a guy from Tennessee. Yeah, that's a 70 so, inch. So really, if they can get it to you, you can do it. Yes. It's just a matter of getting it to yes, you. Yes, they, they get it to me. Having their numbers and everything that they need. Exactly. Required by them. Okay. Exactly. And how would someone want, How would someone get a hold of you? Uh, I have uh, my telephone number, 606-787-9916. Uh, uh, you can reach me anytime there. And uh, then I have a cell phone number. And that is 270 Very good. And, uh, but I'm easy to get a hold of, you know. And, uh, and if you're not available, it just goes to voicemail and you, yes, can, you, you'll yes. return a call when you can. Yes. Right. And, uh, but I, I would love to do it, you know. Uh, I, I stay busy, but I, I work a lot. Like I said, I still enjoy my job immensely, you know. Well, I it's obvious it shows in your work. I couldn't, couldn't think of anything else, mm -hmm. you know. I used to be able to sing and dance, but I had to quit that. I got a little older. All right. <laughs> um, maybe we'll save that for another clip. Okay. <laughs> well, hey, again, uh, appreciate you very much. I can't wait to get the beaver home. What a story that is. Um, pretty excited to have yes, people. Yes, that was a unique mount. Yeah. You know, the, the stump it's, itself, like I was telling you, I've had I've had as much many comments on that stump as I have right. beaver. Right. And uh, so it's going to be unique, you know, for your edition and what, what you're doing. Well, again, Jerry, thank you very much. Hey, look, uh, looking forward to uh, yeah. picking up that that gold, that silver fox. Yes. And a couple other things you got in the works for me. So. Sure do. All right. But again, if you guys have any questions about taxidermy, look look uh, Jerry up on Facebook. I'll post the phone number. And until then, we hope you all have an extreme day. Thank you very much.